I've obviously been in this industry for about 25 years. And many of you guys have probably heard this or were told this. I know that I have family members that were told this 25, 30, 40 years ago. But being an artist used to kind of be a terrible business. Okay. And um, what did that mean? You know, and this is where the starving artist problem actually originated from. But it was because the business had high startup costs. Okay. It had high ongoing costs. And so let's talk about those for a second. So you either needed to launch a gallery and you'd have to rent, you'd have to uh, uh, commit to a lease, you'd have to build out the interior, you would have to travel and go to trade shows, you would have to get art dealers or whatever sort of representation, you would have to buy prints, you would have to invest in print runs. Doing this was very cost prohibitive. And so on the cost side, both of these costs were very high, which was raising the risk considerably of running this business, okay? And then additionally, you would have usually extremely limited or local distribution. So if you, or you opened an art gallery, you're limited to just that area that you're in. You weren't selling nationally, you weren't selling globally, okay? And so at the end of the day, the way that things worked back then, you had very low upside. So you had high costs and low upside which is low asymmetry, okay? And that's what made it a very difficult business, you guys. This is why there's been so many starving artists over the years, okay? But everything has changed. That's one of the most exciting things that you guys need to know about, all right? This is now one of the best businesses that you can start, an art business, 